Okay. <laughs> Here you go. Now give me the tape recorder so I can hear. The exact number. That would make things a lot nicer. <laughs> the only other pers person. I'm, no, I am not going to be your second mentor. No. Gumshoe, stop supporting it. No. No normal human being has a 24-hour interview. Ugh. There you go. No, no to that. What would I... Oh my gosh. People are stupid in this series. Okay. Get the ball rolling. No. See what we got here. Come on. There's a tape. It's got the same song and everything. The smuggling ring that has long plagued my nation was exposed. It's the exact same words and everything. That was the speech. Fast forward. Deflating the rumors. Okay, so knowing that there's so many apostrophes, I know that's Nicole talking. Do you think people can hear it being there? According to the schedule, there's a meeting after this. Yadagurasu! There it is. There's your connection, people. Okay. Great honor for us. Two older men. Okay. I haven't heard the voice before. Oh wait, because there's no voices in this game! Or in any of the Ace Attorney franchise. Imagine if the entire games would just have full, like, voice acting. Then it would be cool. Um... The battle is still not over. The Hammer of Justice shall be brought down upon all evil. Two gunshots. There we go. Okay. Now we may- now we can actually get somewhere with this, I think. We can deduce its flight path. So as we know, one sh one shot the president. And then the one that shot the balloon and the flag were the same one. So now there's only one area it could be. So if we make a line between the balloon and the flag flying, the only location it could be is in the left part of the, s of the place. Whatever you want to call it. There you go, your dotted line. It's fired from the left side of the audience. I mean, it could theoretically be possible to shoot it from the right side, but it would be extremely awkward. And there's no reason you would end up missing it then. Because, like, you would have to go so far out of your way to get one bullet with either of them. This one it actually makes a little bit more sense. Yep, we gotta move. Okay, must hurry. Got it. No, stop it. I am not your mentor. <sighs> no. Or we can just say, get out of the way because we're police and they will be forced to listen. <laughs> Knowing how the Ace Attorney world though goes though, no one has any manners, so... Okay, whatever. Let's see what we got here. Come on, Gumshoe. There we go. Whoa, this is gro- oh, okay. Actually, it's not that gross. This is kind of normal. Um... Mob wrangling skills? <laughs> she seems used to this type of thing. 
Um... Parka? It's reversible. <laughs> Why does that matter? I don't care. And the Mustangs would end up on you. That just makes things worse. Okay. Let's see if we have any traces still left behind. I see a pain. I see a pain. Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> it's Winston Pain. To be fair, I think Winston has actually been in every single Ace Attorney game. Which is actually very scary, considering that's more games than Edgeworth. I mean, I guess Dual Destinies has, um... What's-his-face? Um... Gaspin Pain, but I mean... Considering every game has a pain, that's pretty, pretty close. Plus, there's no difference between Winston and Gaspin. <laughs> um, okay. So, there's a video camera. This seems useful. You gotta have recorded something then, right? That'd be nice. Why will that be difficult? Exactly, what? you have to say that to Nicole, too. How is the footage lost? That's not how digital cameras work! Do you have at least a picture? Oh gosh, who's laughing? Who is this? It's Kay! Kay! Can't have been that long. The Yadagarasu case was only a few days ago, it seems. The great thief business. <laughs> two weeks ago. So this game takes place two weeks after the first investigations. It's the same, like, uh, thing and everything. Steals the truth. And ended up... Well, one of the successors, if... Castillo, you, and Bad somehow have a son or daughter. They're technically the successors, too. So... Fondness for these kind of events. Okay. Gummy. <laughs> yes, Kay, please help me out. Perfect. Actually, I don't want to see a gun being shot through someone. That's, uh... No. <laughs> He's always in a sour mood. <laughs> Please... This is about an assassination attempt. You guys are the only people not taking it seriously. Seriously, why do they have their briefcases open? Two bodyguards. <laughs> yes, I did. Contradiction. Now, this was actually one of the meaner puzzles in the game early on, because I thought this was a really stupid puzzle. I don't know if that's just me, but... So, we gotta figure out... Finding the contradiction. Deduction skills. So the problem is his forehead. <laughs> Deduce. 
and they present the evidence that contradicts that spot. And that would be... The newspaper article, where he does not have a red dot on his forehead. Eureka! <laughs> it does indeed. Look at the forehead. Looks like a laser beam. A red mole, obviously. That he got between the two in two weeks. Maybe a bug bit him. It wouldn't be bright red, it would be like a darker red. I'm guessing laser beams. Okay. Small contradictions. So the dude has a laser beam, how did he end up missing and like shooting through the the thing? Unless I'm wrong about it being a laser beam, but I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a laser beam. Okay, um Trash can, maybe someone tried to throw out evidence. It's not that bad. It's gonna make Gumshoe do it anyways. <laughs> this is what Gumshoe does for a living, so don't worry about it. But Gumshoe doesn't care. He's probably found some food that he's gonna take home. Oh, Gumshoe. A winning popsicle stick! <laughs> <laughs> what do we got? It's a fanny pack! Right? It's gotta be a fanny pack. Or I guess just a bag. So this is the other thing that investigations brought in, which is a lot- Or I guess- I guess Rise from the Ashes. Basically all the DS games have this in some regard. But you can rotate the thing around. Zoom in and out, use the X and Y buttons. So, we're... These are actually really well... For the, for the DS, these are actually pretty well modeled things because... The DS didn't really do 3D the best. I mean, it did it. It just wasn't the greatest thing ever. So if we zoom in, we're going to see something right here. Examine. Can we open this up? We can indeed. Let's see what we got. Uh... Is that the security plan? It's the security plan. Well, that explains how the guy was able to get through. Pay attention to the lake area. Rook takes Knightley's place. In case of emergency, Knightley will lead the president inside the plane. A, a terrorist in the audience? We can't be certain there isn't one. Okay. Rook and Knightley. Two guys from the picture. So the left's Rook, the right is Knightley. Um... Okay. Well, I don't know if they have a police. I mean, the president just use, doesn't use a normal um, American police. Or... He has special guards. Sounds like the president's got plenty of enemies. Okay. I don't blame him. <laughs> there was a smuggling ring. Logic? Do we get some logic piece from that? No, we don't. <laughs> okay, we still gotta see what else is in here as well. Yeah. What else is in here? Oh! Well, there you go. There's a gun. It had to have been. It's a revolver. Six shot revolver. How many bullets does it have left? And you see this now. Um. 
A lot of people underestimate how much detail has to go into it, but just knowing that there's six bullets and a revolver is, like, small details that a lot of games have to, like, a lot of people underestimate how it would have to be. Um, I want to investigate the chamber. So how many bullets? There we go! Two bullets fired off. That matches the number of gunshots heard. Not necessarily, but that's a pretty useful piece of evidence. Like I said, a lot of people just underestimate how much detail goes into, like, just small details like this. Like, if they made it something like a handgun, you wouldn't have been able to do, to do something like that. Like, I don't know, I just think it's really smart how Ace Attorney does that type of stuff. And it does it consistently, which is, I don't know how they do that writing. Okay. It's a red laser beam! Here we go. Let's... Let's use some logic, baby. Connect these pieces of evidence together. Not evidence, but our logic, I would say. So there's some pretty good ones we can link together. <laughs> yes, it did. It gave us more information than Kay's picture. Yes, fingerprints! Now, now, now! Okay, so as he's doing that... But this investigation's... Really? Already? That was ungodly fast. Well, okay, well that explains why it was faster. So I'm guessing either wiped off or hand... Or, uh, glove. That's how it always is. Okay. So let's logic some stuff together. So... Laser pointer and the red mole. I was correct. It was a laser beam. Let's see what we got here. Solved the mystery of the red mole. Now, or an itchy rash. Ew. It is a laser. Right between the eyes. But I guess from drop off, it would hit like the nose. Eh. So the president got shot in the nose. That's my guess. Yep. I think I have a little bit of more that could have been connected to it. I can connect that stuff together. You're not gonna be able to see through all of that stuff. Pew 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 pew. Ooh, yes. That's nice. Well, except it's too bright outside. You How would you even see this laser? It's too bright outside. Let alone see the path of the laser. <laughs> Selfie! Okay. I see something that might be useful. Here's the one you showed me already. And then we had the next one? Is there another one, or is that only two? There we go. It fell on the camera. <laughs> Great, okay. Okay, K's camera data. Is there anything in here? Um, let's do before the incident. Moment of the incident, I'm already good with. Oh! That's all you're asking for? That's easy. You can see it right here. It's pointing straight at the back of this gray suit guy. The person in the red hood. be the assassin. Let's see. Um, we know he's not going to be a moment of the incident, so I'm going to guess... Let's try the last one and see if we can see him after the incident. Maybe we can see where he fled. There you go! Right there. Red-hooded person. Right there. Take that! 
he ran to the right. Sam Do they seriously still have the samurai dog stand? Because if that's so, I want to see Larry. I need to see Larry now. <laughs> okay. Find someone, Gumshoe. Find someone with a red hood. And clear the area, because he probably left something there. The red hooded assassin. There's no way they could have run to. 